I can't believe it. I mean, after all this time, I could actually find out who my real parents are? DNA results are in, Chad. And you've been waiting for this moment ever since you got to Harmony. Don't you want to find out who your parents are? Well, well, well. If it isn't the lovely Dr. Russell, perhaps a stop in the local latte emporium is in order. It's just that every time I get a lead on my father's disappearance, I hit another dead end. So sorry, Luis. You really thought that my mother's diaries would be able to help you get some of the answers you were looking for. If only we could get into the archives to look at them. Yeah. Knowing Julian and Alistair, those archives have the best security money could buy. If only Ethan hadn't thrown his security card away. We'd be able to get into the archives with no problem. No. My card was our ticket to finding out what really happened to my father. You know what? Why wouldn't you let Sheridan use her security card to get into the clean archives? Well, it's like I told her. I'm afraid what it might cost her if she got caught. I mean, Julian and Alistair are ruthless. They definitely punish her, and I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I see. And, and really, it, it doesn't matter anymore anyway. I, I threw the card away, so I don't even have to make a choice. That's not entirely true. What do you mean? I, I tossed it in the trash when I left the Crane building. I know. Only I, I took it out when you weren't there. I thought that you might want it back someday. You know, it's kind of a souvenir or something. So I have what Sheridan needs. Do you want me to give it to her? You're gonna destroy the card, aren't you? If I give this to Sheridan, she could get hurt. I think it's best that it is destroyed. What exactly does Hecuba's victory mean for Timmy and Tabby? What are you asking? If she intends to destroy us, <laughs> even though she supposedly got rid of charity. That's what Timmy means. Oh, well, could go either way. But knowing Hecuba as I do, we're dead meat, Timmy. She hates me. She'll take great pleasure in getting rid of me, no doubt, in a slow and painful way. And then she'll turn her unsavory attentions to you. But Timmy doesn't want anything to happen to his Princess Orium. Neither do I, Timmy. <sighs> May the Dark Forces forgive me. I'm starting to hope that Miguel does find a way to rescue Charity. Because if he does, he'll be saving our lives, too. Timmy never thought he'd live to see the day that his princess was room for Miguel and Charity. Yes. Well... If our lovebirds die, we'll be at Hecuba's mercy. And trust me, that won't be a pretty place to be. Does Tabby really think Miguel can save Charity? Well, the odds are against it, Dollface. I'm afraid things have got a wee bit out of hand. I gotta go in there and find that cave. It's the only chance I have of destroying Hecuba and finding charity for Miguel. You gotta do this, Kay. It's not fair that Miguel risk his life again when everything that's happened is just all your fault. <laughs> What are you 
doing here? I can't just sit around when Charity's in danger. I have to do whatever I can to help her. And if that means tracking down this evil in its lair, then that's what I'm gonna do. You really love her, don't you? With all my heart. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm gonna bring her back. But why are you here, Kay? Same reason. To find the evil that's holding Charity and destroy it. Look, Father Lonigan warned us how dangerous it would be to come here. I can't believe you'd risk your life. I would do anything for you, Miguel. You know, for Charity, of course. Besides, none of this crazy stuff would have happened if it weren't for me. You keep saying that all this is your fault, but that, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's not like you helped the demons grab Charity. Help me, Kay! <laughs> you help her, Kay, and you oh. damned as well. Think, Kay! Think, Kay! Help me! Don't let me die! Charity's gonna die anyway. Do you want to die alone? And be damned in hell forever? Do you want to stay here on Earth? Get your soul back! I don't understand. I mean, why do you feel responsible for what's happened to Charity? I'm back. Did you miss me? Of course we did, Hecuba. I was just saying to Timmy how nice it is to spend some quality time with you. That's not what Charlie said. Do I have to sew your mouth shut? <laughs> Sometimes his imagination runs away with him. I'm feeling so generous, I'm going to ignore all comments from the peanut gallery. Oh, that's very kind of you, Ekeba. Yes, it is, isn't it? And to prove my generosity, anything you want is yours. Sky's the limit. Timmy would love a nice cold picture of Martimi's. It's been a long day. One picture of Martimi's coming up. Timmy could get used to this lifestyle. Let's not forget who gave you life, Benedict. <sighs> what about you, Tabitha? I seem to remember in the good old days you always enjoyed a nice hearty meal. Oh, oh this is too much. You shouldn't have Hecuba. Oh, oh, don't say that, Tabby. Look at all those delectable treats. Dig in. The destruction of charity is worthy of the greatest celebration since the reign of the Visigoths. Hang up this drink. Do you mean to have you? Like, loyalty. Maybe it's not my job after all. No, I don't buy it, Timmy. Hecuba is not a forgive and forget kind of witch. It's best that this card is destroyed. Ethan, I will support whatever you decide. But are you sure it's what you want to do? Oh, Julian and Alistair made it quite clear that they do not want Sheridan to read her mother's diaries. Believe me, they do not make idle threats. Oh my god! That's a security card to the Crane Archives! I thought you said you didn't have it! Actually, um... I just got a hold of it now. Teresa found it after I threw it away. She thought I might want it as a memento. You are marrying a brilliant woman. Thank you so much. This is great. Now we can get into the archives and look at my mother's diaries. Nice job, sis. Now maybe we can find out what happened to Papa. Oh, that would be amazing. For Mama? For all of us? Well, now that we have the card, we cannot let Julian and Alistair find out. <laughs> find out about what? What are you up to? You can tell me, Kay. Why do you blame yourself for Charity being trapped in hell? Um... Wait a it's... minute. I know exactly why you feel guilty. You do? Of course. I should have seen it all along. Miguel, I can explain no, no, everything. Look, you don't have to. I get it now. And you feel responsible because you were the only one home with Charity when the evil took her. Well, that's part of it, but it, it's... But you don't have to blame yourself. 
I mean, there's nothing you could have done to protect Charity. Miguel, you don't know that. Yes, I do. I mean, it's not like you helped this evil force. Why are you torturing yourself? Stop watching them. Miguel is going to be yours. As soon as you help me destroy Charity. Forget it. I changed my mind. I'll find a way to get Miguel on my own. You can't change your mind. You have to do exactly as I say. Unless, of course, you've changed your mind about getting your soul back. <laughs> no matter what you say, I still blame myself. And that's why I have to go down into that mine shaft. Look, I can't let you do that, Kay. All right, it's way too dangerous. I have to fight this evil on my own. Why, Tabitha, you haven't indulged at all in any of these culinary delights. Is there something else I can provide you with? Um, actually, Timmy and Toby were wondering if you could provide us with some answers. Ask away, Toy Boy. Since you're being so awfully nice to Jimmy and Tabby, does that mean you're not going to get rid of us? <laughs> you really should have provided a brain in this little stuffed toy of yours. Of course I'm going to destroy you. But I'm not a monster. Even the condemned deserve a final meal. Chad, do you want to find out who your parents are? Look, Chad, you've been waiting a long time for the results of this DNA test. I know, but now I'm not so sure I want to know. Why? I mean, you've been so determined to find out your parents' identity. What made you change your mind? Two words. Ethan Crane. His life's been messed up big time since he found out who his real pops is. I don't need that happening to me. Maybe some secrets should just stay secret. I know what you mean, Chad. It's not always best for the truth to come out. Mom, how, how can you say that? You've always taught Simone and me to be honest, not to keep secrets. I know, sweetheart. But I, I may have been wrong. Grace and Sam are going through a terrible time since she found out about his past with Ivy. I think maybe some secret should just stay buried. So wait, wait, you're saying Chad shouldn't try to find out who his real parents are? No, honey, I'm not saying that at all. I just understand why you might not want to. Thanks, Dr. Russ. That means a lot to me. Well, Chad, the choice is entirely yours. You just don't want to go through with it. I'll have the DNA results destroyed. You just tell me what your decision is. Well, sister dear, what is it you don't want me to find out? Father, uh, Julian, we were just Ethan, talking. if you'll excuse us, this does not concern you. It's a family matter. Awfully quiet, Sheridan. Time to share your secrets with the class. Not that it's any of your business, Julian. I was just going to loan Ethan some money, and I, I knew that you and Alistair wouldn't approve, so I didn't want you to find out. Damn right we wouldn't Well, it doesn't approve. matter, because he turned me down. Sheridan, you shouldn't be so cavalier about handing out Crane money to the townspeople, but I'm not surprised. You seem to have a knack of fraternizing with the locals. I'm so sorry, Ethan. Julian can be such an ass. Truth is, even after the way he just treated me now, I still respect him. How can you say that after the horrible way he's been acting? The Cranes gave me so much. Julian gave me everything I asked for. Until he found out that you weren't his son. Be that as it may, I can't give you the security guard. I don't think you should go into the archives against Julian and Alistair's wishes. I can't believe that you won't let me borrow the security card. 
It's because I you don't want you to... You know how much it means to me to help Luis find out what happened to his father. And you won't help me because of some misplaced loyalty to Julian and Alistair? No, that is not it at all. The reason I won't give you the security card is because I don't want you to lose your family like I did. I don't want that kind of pain to happen to you. But why would it? Look, it's like I said. Julian and Alistair told you not to go to the archives. If you go behind their back, they will make your life miserable. I'll take my chances. Helping Luis is too important. Sheridan, listen to me. Look, I know we're not related anymore, but I love you just as much as I ever did. And I don't want you to risk everything. I'm sorry I agree with Ethan. I don't want you to take the card. Nectar of the gods. There was a time when you couldn't get enough of my lips all over your body. Take your hands off me, Arthur. Well, you what? You, <laughs> you scream? Oh, your lovely daughter Whitney's here. My guess is you wouldn't want to have to explain to her that I know every nook of your body. God, you're disgusting. Wait, how? Stop. Huh? Is that any way to treat a man that you once cared deeply about? In fact, didn't you recently admit that you loved me in the carefree days of our youth? I was too young and too stupid to know any better. Being with you was the biggest mistake of my life. A mistake that has caused me unspeakable pain. You were um, referring to the son that you lost. The son that we lost, our son. You may not give a damn about our baby Julian, but there's never a day that goes by that I don't mourn you. Don't you ever think about the son that you lost? I've lost two sons, Eve, our baby, and now Ethan. Yes. As a matter of fact, I do think about our son. Do you? Yes, but we cranes don't waste tears on what we cannot change, and we can't change the fact that that our son is dead. Music's helped me through some rough times before. I thought maybe it could just work its magic this time too. This is this is really hard for you, isn't it? I've wanted to find my parents my whole life. I've been searching for so long, and now that it's right in front of my face, I got no idea what to do. You know, in your heart, you know. In your heart, I really think you did. How about cluing me in? Look, I can understand why you'd be scared to find out who your parents are. But I don't think you should let that stop you from finding out the truth. And no matter what you're saying now, I know it's important to you. Hey, things change. Besides, I just can't shake seeing the look on Ethan's face when he found out who his real pops was. Look, you're right. What happened with Ethan is horrible, but that doesn't mean it's going to be the same way with you. And look, no matter what happens with your parents, you won't have to wonder anymore, right? Maybe wondering's better, you know? At least that way I can imagine my parents as people who actually love me, but just couldn't keep me for, I don't know, whatever reason. Instead of people who never wanted me. Maybe still don't. Maybe that's better to hold on to that fantasy than to be slapped with cold, hard reality. Look, you're the one who always told me that sometimes you have to step up and take a risk. Oh. Now my own advice is gonna come back to haunt me. Is that it? Well, I just think you owe it to yourself, Chad. 
and the woman you're going to marry someday to know the truth. The woman I'm going to marry someday? Is there anybody in particular you have in mind? It's too dangerous down in the mine shaft. I have to do this on my own. Miguel, I'm not going to let you do this by yourself. You already lost your life almost once. I'm not just going to sit by and watch you do it again. Look, trust me, Kay. You don't want to get mixed up in this. I already am mixed up in this. So whether you like it or not, I'm going with you. We're going to get through this together. Kay, you're amazing. I mean, you're so brave, but I don't feel right about you doing this. Miguel, if you don't let me do this, and I'm just going to follow you on my own. Are you serious? Yes. Well, then, I guess there's no use in me arguing with you. So we're a team? Okay, fine. But we're going to find this evil in its lair and destroy it. And then we're going to bring Charity back, safe and sound. Right. Mickey was still planning to make mincemeal of Jimmy and Chubby. Of course I'm right, you nincompoop. Hecuba's middle name is Grudge, and she's held one against me for over 300 years. She's not about to back down now. You've got that right, Tabitha. Jimmy doesn't think Hecuba should be counting her crows before they hatch. What are you babbling about now? Something strange is going on. See for yourself. This could be Jimmy and Tabby's lucky day. Did Miguel save charity? Then Jimmy and Tabby would be on Easy Street. Those little brats. They figured out that the only way to save charity is to destroy me. Well, not if I destroy them first. When I'm through with them, they'll be joining charity in hell. You okay? Yeah. I didn't think it'd be so hard to get down here. It's all the debris left over from when the mine shaft collapsed. Come on, let's try to find that cave. It's so freaky being down here again. Yeah, this place is definitely strange. I mean... I know everything that happened down here when we were trapped was just a hallucination. Sometimes it seems so real. You ever feel that way? All the time, Miguel. All the time. I mean, we don't even know if this cave we're looking for really exists. It could have just been part of our hallucination. It exists, Miguel. Trust me. Right, Miguel, it does exist. And it's inhabited by your worst nightmare. But you'll never meet me. Because you and Kay are going to meet your maker. I don't know why, but I think we should go this way. I was just about to say the same thing. There's something familiar about it. Hey, wait. Look, believe me, I want to get to charity just as much as you do. But we've got to be careful. It's not safe down here. You can say that again. We've got to go slowly, all right? The ground above us isn't stable. We don't want anything to cause a cave-in. So? Tell me, Whitney. And you just said that knowing my parents would matter to the woman I marry. Thinking of anybody I know? I just meant that your family is going to be important to your wife. Whoever that is. 
Well, my marriage will be just between me and a woman I love. My parents ain't got to be part of that. No, that, that's not true. Your wife is going to want to know your parents. Your children are going to want to know their grandparents. Our parents are just part of who we are, Chad. Well, maybe I don't want them to be part of me. All right? Maybe there'll be people I ain't going to be proud of. Look, I have watched you search for your parents. And I've seen how much it's hurt you not to know who they are. Finding out the truth is not going to be anything worse than what you're feeling right now. I wish I could be as confident as you. Well, I know you can. Because you are the one that taught me to be. Even when I didn't want to listen to you. You told me not to run away just because I was afraid. And I really think that that was good advice. But now it's time for you to take it, okay? You make one hell of a case, Whitney Russell. You know, your parents are out there. And you deserve to know who they are. And you know what the amazing thing is about this whole thing? You might even know them already. I can't believe you. You think about our son. I guess you really do have a heart, Julian. You just hide it very well. I just don't see the need to dwell on things, that's all. It's done, it's done. Our son may be gone, but Ethan's not. There's no reason why you have to lose him, too. Bennett's bastard means nothing to me. Julian. He was your son. No, no, he was never my son. My lying slut wife tried to pass him off as my son, but he is not a crane. I don't care what his last name is, Julian. He's still the same boy that you held in your arms right after he was born. And he is the same boy that you, you raised into a fine young man. How can you turn your back on him that way? Because every single moment I spent with him was a lie. Julian, losing my baby was the most painful thing that ever happened to me in my life, but right now, I, I can't help but think that maybe it was for the best. <laughs> now who's the cold one, Dr. Russell? Oh, no, you believe me, I grieve for our baby every day. But you, you would have never accepted a accepted a, a little black baby you would have rejected him just like you're rejecting Ethan now perhaps you're right but I guess we'll never know I have to agree with Ethan I don't want you to risk your family I know how important this is to you yes learning the truth about my father is important to me there's nothing on this earth as important to me as you Maybe there's another way to find out about Papa. This is the best lead that we've gotten. We can't just let it go. You have to. It's for the best. I appreciate all of your concern, but this is something that I have no, to no, do. No, no, no. Look, Teresa's right. I'll figure out another way. No, no. You don't understand, Louise. Yes, I want to do this for you, but I also want to do this for myself. You, you've always held the Cranes responsible for your father's disappearance. But you know that I don't blame you. I do know that. But no matter how much we love each other, this will always be between us. And if my family is responsible, then I need to know so, so that we can deal with it and move on. If they're not, then they'll finally be clear in your mind. Whatever the truth is, we need to find out. But it's too risky. I don't care. My mother's diaries are the best shot that we have of getting to the bottom of this. Please. Ethan. I have to do this. Please let me have your security card. That's the first real honest thing you've said to me in a long time. It's almost like getting a glimpse of the Julian I used to know. 
Oh, yes, back in the... the days where I lived for the moment and didn't think about my responsibilities as a crane. Hmm. person must live in you somewhere, Julian. Maybe someday you'll get him back. Maybe someday, yes. But at the moment, I have more pressing issues to deal with, including breaking up Luis and Sheridan, a matter with which I need your help. You are unbelievable, Julian. Hmm. Just when I think that you are not completely horrible, you go and show your true colors again. Spare me the lecture, Dr. Russell. It's time to get down to business. You're out of your mind if you think that I'm going to help you break up Sheridan and Louise. Now, now, is that the attitude to have with someone who holds rather sordid secrets about your past? That lame threat is not going to work, Julian, because you have just as much to lose as I do. And I believe that you've witnessed T.C.'s temper on more than one occasion. I won't help you break up Sheridan and Louise. They deserve to be happy. Your good sentiments are a waste, Dr. Russell. Father and I will tear those two apart with or without your help. Wouldn't be too sure, Julian. Louise might just give you a run for your money. Mark my words, he'll be damn sorry if he tries. Please. Ethan, give me the security card. I need to find out the truth about Luis's father for both of our sakes. I'm just not comfortable with this. Sneaking into the archives could cause you a lot of trouble. Well, I'm willing to take my chances. All right. I'll give you the security card. Because it's so important to you. But I don't think you should use it. Spirits and demons, hear my call. All most powerful, one and all. Send your demons into the night. Bring me my minions with all of your might. Quick, do you need the translation? Hecuba is luring Kay and Miguel into her lair. Our teenage twosome is in terrible trouble to me. Miguel, this tunnel looks really familiar. I think we're headed in the right direction. What makes you say that? I don't know, I just... I think somewhere down this tunnel is where I stumbled into the cave. I don't like the sound of that. Come on, we don't have any time to waste. Let's check out the tunnel. Come closer, children. Come closer. I'm waiting. give you the card, but I still think it's a bad idea for you to use it. I think he's right. Look, I know that you're both looking out for me, but my mind is made up. You sure about this? I'm positive. I need to help you find out what happened to your father, whatever the consequences may be. Well, I, I'm obviously not going to change your mind, so just promise me you'll be careful. I promise. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Come on, I can't wait any longer. Let's go to the archives and see what we can find out. Oh, I'm ready. Waited a long time to find out what happened to my father. I'll see you later. Be careful. Good luck. Wow. I can't believe they might actually find out what happened to Papa. I just hope everything goes okay. Me too. I just have a feeling something terrible is going to happen. Think we're through here, Julian? No, Eve, darling. You and I both know we'll never be through. Oh, you still like it rough. Shut up, Julie. My daughter's coming. Oh. Come on. Are you okay? You look a little upset. No, honey, I'm fine. I'm just uh, thinking about Sam and Grace. I really hope they can work everything out between them. Yeah, me too. Have such a wonderful marriage. You know, I guess secrets can tear apart even the strongest of relationships, huh? You know, that's why I think Chad 
needs to find his parents. He needs to know the truth, Mom. Mr. Crane. Oh, hello, Chuck. The name is Chad. Oh, right, 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 right. Chad, Chad. Why do you want him to find the results anyway? Well, I made up my mind. Okay. And? And, uh, I've decided not to let my fear stop me from finding my parents. Dr. Russell, I want the results of my DNA test. Well, you've made the right decision, Chad, I know. Well, I guess I just needed a shove in the right direction. Thanks for giving me that shove. Well, the DNA results are at the hospital, so we might as well just go now. All right. I'm real close to finding my parents. I can feel it. Kids are getting closer to me. I know Hecuba, she's got something stinky up her sleeve. Death, destruction, sadness and hate, fury, fire, despair and fate. Unleash your powers, unleash them all. So my enemies take a mighty fall. I've used that spell many a time in my day. Believe me, it's a doozy. <laughs> can Tabby be more specific? Oh, yes, I can be more specific. Miguel Lopez Fitzgerald is as good as dead. My Delta's noises are really freaking me out. Maybe we should just turn around and find another direction. Look, we both thought this tunnel looked familiar. I've got to see if it leads to the evil that's keeping Charity. 